Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from In5D.com. And welcome to another edition of In5D Facebook Live. And you know who I am. Uh, hello to everyone that's joining me. Um, a lot of people I, I, I obviously just missed <laughs> coming in. But, um, you know, Kathy and Michelle, Patricia, Jean, Karyan, Car Car <laughs> Skylar. Uh, thank you all for coming in and joining me on this August 13th, 2018. So what, what are we right now? We're like five days past the Lions Gate. I'm curious what you guys felt during the Lions Gate. What happened? Anything spectacular happened in your lives? New revelations, new energies? Did you feel, you know, incredibly high or did it just kind of like purge emotions from you? Let me know in the chat right here. Hello, uh, Mary, Carrie, Vivian, Amy, Patricio, Jennifer, everyone else uh, is joining right now. Gosh, I'm so far behind. There's Sean from London uh, joining us at, oh my gosh, it's really late there. It's like 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. in the morning in London. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, Sean. Sean's a wonderful psychic, so highly recommend her. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jacqueline Jarvis saying that she was in touch with the dark side and seeing through it. And that's what helped her with that um, landscape energy. Uh, Supi saying that she's been very emotional today. We're getting a lot of that. A lot of uh, purging is going on. And I think that was one of the key things out of the landscape that I, I kind of saw across the board for a lot of people was uh, emotional purging going on. Personally, myself, it was like an indifferent day. I didn't feel any worse. I didn't feel any better. I didn't notice any new abilities come on or anything like that. I, I went out to the beach despite the red tide and everything. I did my walk of gratitude and sent all that positive, positive, loving, healing energy to our water. Uh, yesterday, we had the hands across the water uh, movement that was all over Florida, and a number of people got together and uh, held their hands up and joined hands together on the beaches to basically make a statement uh, about our wildlife and our our oceans and what's going on here with the red tide. Uh, so it was it was pretty cool. Uh, I, I made a I did a live stream yesterday. It's the first time I've ever did a live stream on my cell phone. I actually had to upload the Facebook app. <laughs> then when I got home I Un un uploaded it. <laughs> I deleted it um, off my phone. So, you know, maybe on occasion I'll upload it again and do a Facebook Live, um, maybe from the drum circle once the beach is okay <laughs> again. But um, it'd be kind of cool to do stuff like that. But I just don't trust that Facebook app. So, uh, Chris is saying that 8 11, two days ago, was an uplifting, positive day. And I'll tell you what, guys and ladies. Um, I'm going to show you guys this. Yesterday and the day before, there was this huge wave that went through right there. Um, I, I posted that on my N5D Facebook page. And then earlier today, we had another wave come through. And interestingly, you know, this is what I do when when I feel really tired before I go to bed, I'll just happen to happen to glance and sure as heck, you know, I took a nap here. I took a nap here. So this is pretty spot on for these energy waves that are coming in. Um, and if you're feeling that energy, if you're feeling tired, you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm being called to work in the astral realms or whatever, just to take a nap, check that out because chances are there's some kind of correlation going on between the Schumann resonance chart and your sleep patterns. So, but that was pretty cool. Um, just a quick, this is something that I'm, I'm going to be doing on Patreon. Uh, thanks to Candace Craw Goldman uh, and her beyond quantum healing. She's through, through my N5D Patreon is giving away a uh, beyond quantum healing uh, package worth $333 
and uh, I'll be doing a, a giveaway on my Patreon, and that's for all people that are on the N5D Patreon. And I know down the road I'll also be giving away N5D t-shirts and mugs, but I have to limit that to, uh, unfortunately, the continental United States because of the cost of just shipping anywhere outside of the United States. But, And that'll be fun. So I'm going to be doing that as well. So look forward to that. I'll be putting more details out there in the near future. What else do we have here? Oh, the, there's a cruise coming up that I'll be speaking at. It's called Waves of Light Cruise cruise and you can check that out at wavesoflight.org and the speakers are going to be Nicole Frolic, Monica Benoir, Miriam Jacoby, Michelle Walling, Mich Michael Black, Jessica Sanchez, Eric Rains, and myself. So you got eight speakers there. I'll also be bringing my guitar and we're going to have a, a singer there that is going to be singing along. And What I'm, I, I'm going to be doing is actually I played, was it the other night? Uh, Saturday Night Jams, I did a Facebook Live, and it was just kind of fun bringing my guitar out, and I had backing tracks, which is basically the whole song that you hear, minus the guitars. They're, they're able to extract the guitars out, so I'm able to play guitar with these cool songs. So um, probably do something along that line. It's going to be really fun, though, so if you want, check out the wavesoflight.org for the cruise on January 17th through the 21st, 2019. And it goes from here uh, in Florida, in Tampa to Cozumel, Mexico. So it's a five day cruise. Uh, if you are so guided to do, do so and join us, we'll see you on the boat. Um, one of the things I'd like to talk about, uh, Sean's saying, God, I love Florida. I do too. I really do. And despite all the stuff that's going on here with the red tide, you know, it's still a beautiful, beautiful state to be in. And, you know, I just can't hit the ocean as much as I want to. I can't go swimming right now in the red tide. But I, I do go there on my walk of gratitude, despite the dead fish and the nasty looking water. And I, I put that energy out there um, through my guides, through that 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand and just send it out there to help us heal the water. Um, kind of got into a, a discussion earlier today with a woman who said that I'm by putting this information out there that it's fear mongering. I'm like, really, you know, I, hardly at all. Awareness is not fear mongering. And I, I, I completely honor those people that are simply holding space, putting out that loving healing energy to help our planet in any way possible. And I, I love those people. But you also need a combination of awareness because the more people understand what's going on through awareness, the more it's going to change reality. And that's when more and more people wake up and eventually they're going to start questioning their own reality and spiritual reality and start going down their spiritual path on their spiritual journey. So that's why I encourage anything that involves awakening. So, two different trains of thoughts. Neither one is wrong. So this is interesting. Let me uh, just check out the, the chat real quick. <laughs> Much cooler with your hair pulled back. I don't know if you mean cooler as in cool, or just cooler as in, yeah, it's, it's not as hot. <laughs> I'm assuming not as hot and you're right that's why I did that I'm, although I'm still sweating I actually you know for this N5D uh, Facebook live I lowered the temperature in my house to like 73 which I usually keep at 77 I just get so hot when I do these um, live shows Yeah, I think it's the first time I've, I've done a show with my hair up. I don't know if you guys even recognize me with my hair up. <laughs> and Sherry's saying that she was tired for the last two days and got her energy. And her energy went up today, and now it's back down. So, yeah, this is the, the roller coaster ride that we're going on with these um, energy shifts. Yeah, the, the Schumann resonance, when it fluctuates, we all end up picking up on that, and we have these serious energy shifts that we end up having to take naps. 
H. Prather is saying double rainbows here. Very nice. I, you know, this morning when I went out to do my walk of gratitude, I went out to the beach and there was a rainbow out there then. So I saw that as a very positive sign. I think I posted a picture of that on my Facebook wall too. So it's very cool. Uh, Thelma says she's been dragging for weeks. Hopefully it's going to get better. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people can relate to that, myself included. Beth Ward, I was up all night last night with new inspiration about my energy healing work. I spent several hours updating my website. Good for you, Beth. Congratulations. And feeling overwhelmed and grouchy. I'm so far behind already. I'm scrolling down. I am miles behind on your chat. And I love it that you guys are chatting, um, chatting away in here. It's wonderful. And then eventually I will get back and I'll <laughs> catch up on everything. And if I miss any questions or anything like that, I'll do a follow up. But I just want to welcome everybody that, that's that's here. Uh, Tracy, Jenny, Christina, Linda, Nikki, Kenneth, Suzanne, everyone that's that's here. And everyone that I miss, everyone that's joining us on not only Facebook, but on the recorded version on, on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. So yeah, I, I ended up posting that, um, doing a Facebook live from the hands along the water. And it ended up getting like, as of now, like 37,000 views and 800 shares. So thank you to everyone who shared that and is helping uh, with this awareness. And, and Hopefully, uh, you know, our, our state will start doing something about this red tide because what a lot of us Floridians know is that what's happening is the, there's a lot of toxic water up in Lake Okeechobee and what they did was they made canals that filter out on both sides of the state and they're, they're doing a lot of heavy dumping here on the Gulf Coast and it's created the red tide from that point north all the way up to Anna Maria Island which is up by Bradenton and it's moving from what I understand it's made its way to the Skyway Bridge and it's about to go to uh, Fort DeSoto, Tierra Verde and St. Pete and, uh, and that area, Madeira Beach and so on and so forth. So it's, it is way, making its way northward, but hopefully with enough awareness, thought, love and intention, we can prevent that and have it retreat and clear our waters. So once again, thank you for everybody who's shared and put loving, positive energy into uh, clearing this up. So, once again, I'm so far behind. <laughs> Suvi's saying that I got back from Shasta last week and thought I would feel better and grounded, not. Well, from what I understand, in Mount Shasta, there's a lot of uh, not so good people up there, and perhaps um, some of these alphabet agencies are operating from underneath. It's kind of funny because when you're at the base of Mount Shasta, you have amazing cell phone connection. So you got to think, okay, where are all these cell phone towers? You know, which trees are posing as cell phone towers when you're there? I do love Shasta though, so and you know it, it is the root chakra of the planet. So you know, thank you for going there and, and doing work there. Oh. Okay. My sister Tara is asking, "Did you see the meteor showers last night?" Um, no, I didn't. Um, which which meteor shower is it? Is it the Perseid, Perseid meteor shower that's going on right now? I'm not sure. I would like to go out there and check it out. I know there's sometimes I'll be out there with my night vision goggles and it'll be like during a meteor shower and you'll just get all excited because you, you, you initially think you're seeing a UFO but it's just a meteor. So I want to talk about aches and pains. Um, a lot of people are going through different aches and pains, uh, you know, various things. And what I'm noticing is there's a consistency of a lot of things that are happening, and it's it's usually from the upper chest and higher stuff that's going on, like in between here. And these are all upper level chakras that appear to be cleansing or purging, um, clean, cl getting cleansed out right now, and. Uh, you might have some kind of like, um, you know, heart palpitations or a sore throat. 
headaches going on. And uh, you know, I've noticed a lot of this going on within the spiritual metaphysical community. So perhaps this is one of the things that the Lion's Gate has brought, but I've noticed this before that and it's ongoing since. So <laughs> scrambled egg fried brains, eyeballs, head slammed, <laughs> Carolyn. It's funny. Yeah. And Sherry Wood, that's what's happening to me. Uh, makes sense. Yes. Lots of aches and pains. Asthma, discomfort from Rosie. Blurry eyes. Yes, Heather. I, I have that too. I, I have, I've I've been getting what I call a goopy eye to, along to go with leaky ear. So goopy eye, leaky ear. Things going on. Um, getting this like residue stuff in my left eye. Bright eye is fine. Left eye? No. Nah. Not sure what to say about that, but I have a feeling that it does have something to do with um, the cleansing that is going on, the purging of everything. Now, these could also be blockages that are clearing too. So um, keep do working on your own clearing. Uh, do meditations. Work on, you know, clearing any blockages that you might have through meditation, uh, chakra clearings, and you can find information on that on in five D on what to do and how to clear your chakra. I also, I use a, uh, I haven't used it in a little while, but um, Doreen Virtue has a an evening chakra clearing that, gosh, I was doing religiously sometimes, several times a day, as well as the morning one. Um, wonderful way to clear your chakras. Um, of course, when she would mention God, I would use the word creator or source. Because <laughs> I repeat everything that she said. Um, okay, so Kristen Freeze is saying her stomach, that's where she's getting it right there, which is, you know, the solar plexus, um, getting some clearing there. That's good, actually. So, you know, when, when you're having these, uh, look at it as a positive thing. Understand why it's happening and that it's an opportunity to further clear and purge and uh, unblock these blockages basically so mostly these are just all higher level chakra clearings that are going on so you know if you're going through this it's 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 a good thing okay now i was introduced to a gentleman by the name of tom paladino and he does quantum scalar research and i just started doing this a few days ago uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with him or not, but I'm going to be doing this. I, what I ended, I ended up doing was sending a picture of myself to him and his machine scans it. And on a quantum level, it can attack any, I guess he has like 400 different, 400,000 different strains and of viruses and bacteria that it can attack. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking, okay, maybe the, the goopy eye and the leaky ear will go away through this, but I'm giving it a shot. I'm doing it for four months and, uh, I'll give a report afterwards, uh, and you know, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down or indifferent. You know? So basically I'm a gu guinea pig on this. So I have, I have talked to a couple people about this as well, and they're joining me, um, in doing this now. One of the people that is doing this, she sent a picture of her dog who has um, some eye issues. You can see like this white cloudy stuff in her dog's eye beforehand. And then after just, you know, a little while of, of this quantum uh, scalar machine, her, her dog's eyes cleared up. And I thought, wow, that, that's pretty impressive. So, um, and that's what, brought me aboard, um, seeing the before and after on those videos. So going to give it a shot and see what happens. You know, all of us are wired differently. I don't know if it's going to work for me or not. I, I know that, for example, when I had ADHD and I wrote an article basically saying, you know, these are, I think, 30 different signs to show that you're wired differently. Well, that was interesting back up and running sorry about that apologies to everyone that um came here and all of a sudden bam um not sure if it's going to happen again what happened was 
uh, my, my computer decided it was going to do a system update. <laughs> and on this computer, I rarely use this. The only time I use this computer is for uh, N5D Facebook Live. So hopefully, you know, it did a system update. I wonder what the metaphysical meaning of that is. Are we all getting upgraded now? Another interesting thing, too, along that line is I, I live in a community where you have to have a, a, a passcode to get in. You know, it's a gated community, and uh, the password changed. So um, new upgrades <laughs> are apparently coming in. So, you know, what are you going to do? You know, just smile, laugh, and move on. I actually um, had to go back, to I, I was trying to figure out at what point of the video did it cut off on me. And uh, I think I was talking about Adderall and ADD. So uh, just getting back to that, um, the whole Adderall ADD thing um, and, and being wired differently, I could take an Adderall, which is an amphetamine, and within an hour, go to sleep. You know, it, it, that's how it affected me. <laughs> Ken still Shipley is saying, how was the other side? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but yeah, you got to look at it as an uh, as an upgrade. Um, but getting back to the ADHD, <laughs> not to say that I have it anymore, but um, sometimes you end up getting it unintentionally when you're trying to follow along with the comments when you're doing a live show. So anyway, the the ADHD just goes to show you that you know some of us are wired differently. And with me doing this scalar quantum scalar energy program, I don't know what to expect. I know that I am wired differently, but I expect what I'm hoping for is that, um, that the whole goopy eye and the leaky ear thing goes away. And I've only been doing it a few days. Uh, so uh, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to report back later on what my results are. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, and just welcome back, everyone uh, that has just come in. Um, if you're unaware, I had a system update go on on my computer, and it basically shut me down. And uh, that was it. So here we are. We're back again. I'm hoping that um, whatever it is in my software that was updated keeps us keeps us on here. <laughs> but welcome back anyway. Thank you. So. Um, another thing a lot of people are going through right now are relationship issues and uh, you know everyone's I see that a lot on Facebook and you know I, I feel for you I definitely you know I've, I've been single since I don't know when October of last year <laughs> but you know what's what's happening is that you know people are on different energy levels they're vibrating at different levels and it's not that one level's wrong or right they're both right it's just sometimes you're vibrating at a different energy level. You have a hard time relating to or understanding or comprehending um, what the other person's saying. Um, and it gets increasing, increasingly difficult if that person's not awakened to begin with. So there you are, you know, trying to talk to somebody that's watching CNN, you know, or has the TV on all the time and those EMFs are flooding the house and you're trying to, you know, have some kind of metaphysical conversation, but th those energy levels are just so far apart. And not that the other one's wrong. Sure, you know, some people, that's that's what they do. They get home from work, they unwind, have a bite to eat, watch TV just to get away from everything. And I understand that. It's just not my cup of tea, <laughs> you know? And it's probably not your cup of tea either. Um, I know most people here that are watching right now probably don't watch a whole heck of a lot of TV. And I'm not saying it's bad that you do or don't, you know, do what you want. Um, just be aware of that, you know, that there are these EMFs and that your mind goes into that alpha state, which makes your brain highly su suggestible when you're watching TV. So, I mean, how many times have you been watching TV? You know, we've all done this. You see a commercial for some kind of food and you think, man, I'm hungry or damn, I'm thirsty. That beer looks awfully good. You know, so it, it that hypnotism really does work. So you just have to be aware of that. Um, so back to the relationship issues, you know, part of it is just letting go. You know, there comes a point in time where you know those vibrational energies aren't matching 
and you just gotta let go and um, and it's not easy to do but uh, you know you'll get through it you'll end up on top and uh, everything will be okay but it's just a matter of disconnecting and you know having that familiarity with that one person and investing you know X amount of years or whatever that can be hard but knowing that it's okay to make that disconnect and uh, you know um, when you do that, you know, first thing I would recommend is smudging the hell out of your house. <laughs> yeah, you know, and even consider getting rid of um, any um, items that have some kind of attachment to that person as well. Um, and, and reclaiming your space, you know, your energy, vibration, and frequency has to match your environment. So. You know, make sure that your environment is what it, what you think it should be. So, with your energy in it. But yeah, smudge the hell out of your place. <laughs> uh, and enjoy your own company. Learn how to fall in love with yourself again. Um, I know, as service to other people, you know, we we're constantly trying to please other people. But learn how to please yourself. And you know, get out there and do things that make you happy. Um, accept the fact sometimes that things don't work out, and I hope that if you are in a situation like this, that you can work it out first and foremost. You know, because you know it, the re relationship was based on love, and I hope that you can work it out. But know that it, it is okay to walk away, and when you walk away, send love and forgiveness to that person. Okay because they, they did come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. One thing I find, too, is in, you know, if you're going through these kind of issues, is just to surrender to the universe. It's that simple. You know, just don't overthink it. Just say, okay, I'm falling backwards, universe. I know you're going to catch me. And uh, surrender and see where that brings you. So... Thank you, Tammy. Uh, Joanna saying that she's been doing all this since April. I'm growing by leaps and bounds. That's wonderful. Congratulations. But yeah, definitely. Um, that's a huge part. And whether you're in a relationship or not, surrendering to the universe, surrendering to a higher source, knowing that you're always being guided and are heading in the right direction, no matter what you do, no matter what choices you make, you're always being guided in that direction. Um, you know, a lot of times many people will overthink things. Um, it's, it's really not that complicated. Uh, you know, it's, you can you can look back and say, oh, you know, well, I've got all these soul fragments and soul shards and all these people that I got, I got to, that were me in a previous lifetime, and I got to gather them up and I got to do all this work. And no, you don't. No. When that white light comes, bam, instant gathering of everything. Um, you're there. You're there. Uh, it's, it's, don't overthink it, <laughs> okay? Um, just be a good person. Be 51% positive. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's, it's, it's really, really, really simple. Um, so don't overthink the whole situation. The process is going to happen. It's going to happen in the blink of, the, of an eye. And before you know it, you're going to be on that other side, feeling that unconditional love magnified by a million times stronger than any kind of love you've ever felt in the third dimensional reality. Um, so without having to do all this work. So don't overthink it. Uh, just be a good person. That's it. That's it. So. Colin says, send love and the, and the universe will respond to the frequency you send out. Definitely the law of attraction, what you put out comes back. Definitely. <laughs> Kenneth has 12 cats that make him feel better by spending more time with them. How do you divide your attention between 12 cats? It seems like one of them is always going to be like, hey, what about me? <laughs> Send out love to the universe. Yes. Yes. Janelle saying karmic akash has been cleared so that 
So that's why many of us are leaving relationships now as contracts have ended. Love it. That explains a lot. Thank you, Janelle. It's my buddy, Randall Lee Saunders, Sanders, that uh, he takes a lot of, I'll see him on the beach. He's the one that takes the video for me when I'm playing guitar on the beach. So thank you, Randall. Uh, Janelle, anything not of purity will fall away. I totally agree. And that falls into conjunction with Pluto and Capricorn, with Pluto being the, the destroyer, and it's bringing the truth vibration up. And what we're seeing is that only that which is, a, which is in the highest vibration of truth, love, and light is able to exist in these energies. And we're going to be seeing a lot of things happening on the geopolitical side, in Hollywood, uh, in the near future. Uh, that's going to really shock a lot of people on what's happening um, behind the scenes that a lot of people aren't aware of. And that's because of this truth vibration with in association and in conjunction with Pluto and Capricorn. Pluto stays in Capricorn until the year 2023. So, you know, you hear a lot of people making, you know, a lot of dates keep getting put out there. Some people are now saying 2022 or 2023. You know, we've already heard the ones that have come and gone, um, which is why I'm very reluctant not to say anything about dates. First and foremost, I've never been given a date. I've seen what's going to happen. I just have never been given a date. And I think the reason why is that every millisecond, our reality is changing. Timelines are converging every millisecond. Every thought, every intention is changing the timeline. So if you're even given a date right now, five minutes from now, the timeline has changed. It might be off two minutes at that point, but given, you know, 30 days from now it might be off two days or two years because of these timelines changing. So, and especially when people are getting messages from extraterrestrials who aren't living in a third dimensional reality that really don't know what it's like to live a 24 hour day. It makes it, it makes it hard to swallow, you know, when when people get dates like that and um, report on them. Although I do love hearing them because I'm always that eternal optimist, thinking maybe this is the one, <laughs> you know. So, you know, I'll never bash anyone that's putting out dates, and I love hearing them. But um, gosh, I wish I was given some dates that were actually true and that would come through. All I've been given, though, is that vision of what's going to happen and the feeling of that vision, and it, it's amazing. So that's the best I can do on that. It's when it happens, it's going to be the most incredible thing ever, ever. <laughs> um, which reminds me, um, a couple days ago on my Facebook page, uh, I, I, I've been kind of putting this thought in the back of my head. I've been doing this for years on what would 5D Earth be like, and I invented a a planet a planet called Gitara, like in Tara, Terra, Mother Earth, Gitara. <laughs> so it's like it's a planet that you know is full of music, um, not just guitars, all sorts of instruments, and it, it would be like the planet where they would come from other planets, galaxies, universes, multiverses, just to come and hang out and be there. So there'd be like a beach and water and then a mountain right behind you and lakes and streams and uh, maybe like a huge lily pad that you could float down as a raft on a, in a stream. Uh, the water would be interactive where if you like it cool and the person next to you likes it warm, it would interact with your body. It would know exact, the exact temperature that your body requires. So just standing right next to each other, you could even like waves and the wave would only come to you, but not to that person next to you. Um, things that would happen would be like maybe it would snow, like rainbow sparkly colored snowflakes if you're lying out there on the beach and just wanted to cool off, even though the air temperature would do the same thing. You can There'd be no need for air conditioners or heaters because the air would also conform to whatever it is that you like individually. So if the person next to you likes it hot and you like it cool, the air would automatically know and adjust just for you. Now there, were, of course, would be all sorts of musicians there. And even if you don't know how to play an instrument, you would know if you're there. I think innately everybody will know how to play an instrument. Also, everyone's young. 
you know, the oldest looking person would be maybe in their late twenties, because <laughs> that's what I see myself as in my dreams. The oldest I ever see myself is in my late twenties. Everyone's young. I'm like one of the oldest people in my dreams, but I'm still young, and and that's the way it's going to be on guitar or whatever you want to call it. I, it's one of the five D Earths. It's something that I just enjoy creating. Um, there, there would be three suns. The sky would be, it would change. It'd be like this beautiful, whatever the sky looks like for the sunsets, those different changes of colors, except it would be that way all, all day long. It would just change color. Uh, three suns, all different colors. Uh, and who knows, maybe there wouldn't be any night. What would be the purpose of having dark? You don't need duality and polarity at that point. So maybe it'd just be sunny all day. So, um, just looking at the chat real quick. I uh, just want to welcome Kim and Camille, Rebecca, Tina, Yvonne, Sassafras, Sufi. Um, does, here's a question. Does Adderall make your face break out? It didn't make mine break out. So, um, no, not for me, no. But it may maybe for other people. I, I don't know what you know. Typically, amphetamines do to other people. I know that, you know, as a as a, um, I used to work a, a, as a opioid counselor at a methadone clinic, and I know that you know some people that were my clients there, that were doing meth, they would, it wouldn't be breaking out, but it'd be scabs from picking, and they do a lot of picking. And they have scabs all over themselves, but, you know, and that that's crystal meth, which is I guess a form of speed which is amphetamine so glad you can make it joe unfortunately um this is the second version that i had to do i got cut off on the first one and for those who are joining me late yeah i had a system update on my computer it basically shut us down <laughs> but it's a good thing because we what is an update it's an upgrade so here we are maybe we're going through an upgrade upgrade right now so Janelle saying, yes, massive high-profile arrests will be coming soon. I definitely agree. It's going to be exciting when that happens. And this is how far behind I am because <laughs> I was talking about this like five minutes ago. Uh, manifesting is such fun. Love your ideas. Thank you. Miel? M-I-E-L? Miel? Miel? Aw, thank you, Candace. She says, hi, Greg. You look young to me right now. Thank you. You know, with my hair up, you can see all the gray that's there. I don't dye my hair, as you guys know. It just, what happens is it starts out gray, and then as it grows longer and longer, it turns blonde. And I don't care if it stays gray or not. It doesn't matter to me. I'm, you know, almost 60. I'm supposed to have gray hair. I'm lucky to have hair at, at my age, you know, so... Loving the sound of Katara, Katara says Tina. I am too. That's going to be a cool place. Everyone will sing beautifully too. I agree. No dead fish, <laughs> Katara. No, there's going to be lots of animals though that you get to interact with. You know, dolphins and cats, dogs, horses, whatever you want out there. Your sky would be tie dye. Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah, could you imagine that for your sky? And it, this changing colors, that'd be really cool. I love this. And that's what I encourage people to do is, you know, what, whether you want to help me build this planet or build your own, put it out there. Start creating. This is what it's about. You know, what if we are all creators of our own universes? You know, this is going to be the first planet that I end up creating, you know, with everyone's thoughts and intentions. And maybe we can all use it as a template to create more and more planets and other universes and stuff like that. So just put it out there. It's fun doing, you know, and there's no limit to your imagination. As long as it's something positive and all in the best interests of humanity, go for it. Make it fun. You know, maybe have waterfalls that go upwards so that they'd be water ups instead of waterfalls. You know, get creative. Whatever it is that you want to put out there, put it out there. Make it happen. 
Carolyn is saying, do you go and come back from 5D temporarily? I wish. Um, although, you know, when I had that vision, I was there. Um, albeit for a brief moment, it was only for, you know, a few seconds that I was there. Maybe five seconds that I was there, but it was so impressive. And that feeling of unconditional love magnified to a magnitude that you can't express here in third dimensional words. And I'll never forget that one in 5D beach meetup that I had uh, where this one woman, I, I believe she's a nurse, she had a near death experience and she also saw the same exact thing with that love, unconditional love magnified to a point of where you can't express the love that you feel, you know, imagine the one thing that you love the most, magnify that by a million. And I'm probably underestimating it. As much as you love anything on this planet, it completely pales on the unconditional love that you'll feel. And, you know, there's no money, government, religion at that point. It's, and none of that shit matters. Um, even, you know, the matrix would dissolve any controlling powers, whether there's a matrix or not, but those, all those controlling powers dissolve. None of that matters anymore. None of it matters. All that matters is that unconditional love that you feel. And you're at that point when I was there, you're at that point where you feel it like you can create anything that you wanted to. And that would be the beginning point of, of 5d earth. That's where we would start creating. And while I'm sure that there's already people there on 5d earth, I had to be shown that myself of the, the strength and the, the ability that we all have in, in creating this. So um, it's, it's, it's going to be really exciting. I just wish I had a date. <laughs> not, not a date date, not, not like a girl. Well, that'd be cool too, but um, I wish I was given a date um, for when that'll happen. I just know that it's going to be in our lifetime. And ultimately, if I, if I had to put a date on it, somebody twisted my arm really hard and said, put a date on there. The best I could do is would probably be sometime by 2023 when Pluto exits Capricorn. It would make the most sense to me. But don't quote me as saying that because I don't know. <laughs> Ultimately, that, that's my answer. I don't know. I hope it's right now. All right. Damn. It wasn't right now. Now. Hmm. All right. Maybe five minutes. Maybe as soon as I end this live video. That... You know, <laughs> whenever it happens, I just want it to happen um, as soon as possible. Hopefully it happens within the week or by the end of the month or the year. You know, and I'm not disappointed one way or the other. Um, I expect it to happen as soon as possible. And I think it has a lot to do with the critical mass that's out there. You know, once we get that point reached, bam, it happens. So... And I don't think anyone knows the date, unfortunately. So in the meanwhile, just have fun while you're here. God's sake, for creator sources sake, <laughs> make the best of it. Um, you know, I, I firmly do believe in what the Rosicrucians said. You know, they, I've mentioned this before that your goal in life is not to be happy. Happiness is an emotion. Your goal in life should be to experience as many things as you can. And within those experiences, you'll find happiness. So get out there, enjoy life. You know, that's why I was on uh, my events page today trying to see, okay, what's going on in the area? And I, I go to my events page and it has all these events from the Ukraine. <laughs> Thinking, okay, well, maybe if they have a pierogi festival, I'll go out there and <laughs> take a plane to the Ukraine and eat some pierogies or something. But yeah, I thought it was kind of funny, but you know, I didn't really see a lot of things going on here in CSK that didn't involve like bars and stuff like that. So, except, you know, down the road, there's the sand sculpture contest in November and it's always a really cool thing. They make these huge sand sculptures. Uh, the, the artists are just phenomenal and uh, I enjoy going to that. Plus they have really cool vendors there that I end up picking up cool stuff at. You know, I've got some Buddha pictures and statues and stuff that I've I bought there and different necklaces and bracelets and all sorts of cool things. So. Yeah. <laughs> Carolyn's saying, we all thought you went to 5D when 
my video cut out. <laughs> How cool would that have been? Okay, I'm out of here. Bam. So, what else? Oh, this is something interesting. You know, I've always, I always get reports of people saying that they see me in their dreams. And I know that I'm a dream walker myself. So, you know, I visit people and people visit me. So, you know, in the past week I had three people saying that they saw me in their dreams. Um, actually, it was three people within two days that said they saw me in their dreams. So... If I'm appearing in your dreams, let me know. What are we doing? I'd like to know because a lot of times I'm not shown, you know, my dreams on what specifically I'm doing. Although I remember my dreams, but I think that my dreams are basically masked and that on higher levels, like all of you guys, you know, we're, we, we remember these silly parts of our dreams, but on higher levels, we're doing something completely opposite completely different. Maybe we're working on, you know, the ships uh, on, a, on a mothership or something, or um, just doing a lot of work that's helping and healing humanity. But yet we remember a stupid dream of, you know, something inane, like, you know, maybe you're walking your dog or something like that. Not that that's stupid. It's kind of cool. that, And I'm sure your dog appreciates it. But uh, I think you're doing a lot more uh, important work outside of that um, when, when we do dream. And that's what's happening with these human resonances. You know, we're being called to work, basically, uh, to go back into the dream state, which is, for many of us, more real than re reality, our waking state. Carolyn's saying that she met the giants in her dream. I'm guessing the Elohim. So cool, they, uh, oh gosh. So cool, they are real and 30 feet tall. They are here, good. Hopefully they're helping. <laughs> Randall says, probably a hypnagogic green room we all wind up in while snoring. Well, the snoring parts, I'm sure it is. <laughs> for me, it would be true. I don't know how anyone could sleep with me because I do snore unless I'm on my left side. If, I, if I'm on my left side, I'm okay. But on my back, oh, on my right side, a little, you know, I, I just snore a little on my right side. But, or, yeah, my right side. But on my left side, hardly at all. Tammy's saying that I appeared in a dream that she had. Two others were there. I don't speak to those two anymore in real life. It was a message about my ex. You were just a cameo, standing there like you were watching over me, helping me to not make a bad decision. That's really cool. Thank you, Tammy. Marcia's saying that she's had James Gilliland appear in her dreams a couple times. What's funny is I have these dreams where, you know, as a musician, I'm playing in a band. One time I was in, twice I've been in Van Halen playing on stage. One time I was with Skid Row. Another time, I was John Lennon. <laughs> I was a Beatle, John Lennon, in the band playing. Bizarre. It's. I know that I remember the one time when I was dreaming that I was in Van Halen. I'm playing the guitar, and I go up to the bass player, Michael Anthony. I go, this is really cool, because it was on a beach, and there was a big beach party going on. I go, this is really cool. Can you believe all the people that are here? He goes, yeah, this is amazing. We're having a great time. But, you know, I'm wondering, okay, now what am I really doing? <laughs> I'm simply not playing guitar. I've got to be doing something much more complicated than being in a, in a band playing guitar with Van Halen. But it's, it's cool, though, that um, I had that dream. <laughs> you know, I, I guess it's a lot better than <clears throat> being poked in the ass with a pitchfork by Satan. <laughs> of course, I never had that dream. And I hope no one else has either. <laughs> Candace has dreamt that she's other people too. Very cool. Uh, and thank you all for all the little heart hearts there. I see a little angry face there that somebody apparently follows me and 
loves putting up little angry faces. So, you know, sending you love anyway, you know, I, I'm not your enemy and you're not mine, but uh, if it makes you feel better putting up those little angry faces, go for it. It doesn't bother me. So um, I think that's just about it. And thank you for all the little hearts. There's that angry face again. <laughs> it makes me laugh, actually, so I'm not unaffected by it. If you guys have anything that you'd like to talk about, uh, let me know. Randall's saying, that's cool. We are all in an avatar in some other space-time continuum. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Mary named her dog Van Halen. I named my dog Sammy from Sammy Hagar. Uh, from Van, Van Hagar. <laughs> Very cool. Carolyn's asking, what was, what's the water I drank? It's, it's called Alkaline 10, and it's 10 pH water. And you can find it online, I think. I live in Florida. We have a, a place called, it's a grocery store called Publix. And uh, I, I get it there, and it's absolutely fantastic. Best tasting water ever, as far as I'm concerned. And if anyone's ever tried it, you know, we'll let other people know how great it is. Because, you know, with it being 10 pH, it's the highest pH water I can find. But not only that, but it just tastes good. It almost has like a, a, a tinge of sweetness to it. Although it's not sweet, there's no sugar or anything in it. And no, I'm not doing a commercial. No, I'm not being paid to do this. I just love this water. And it, it's not cheap. It goes for about $5 for a six pack of it on sale. <laughs> but when it's on sale, I'll get like two or three cases of it. It's that good. So if you ever have the chance, if you're ever in Florida, you know, go to Publix, P-U-B-L-I-X, and try the alkaline water, the 10 alkaline water. It's really good. You know, they say that if your body is alkaline, you can't have cancer. And being a stage three cancer survivor, that's pretty important to me. So, you know, I had the melanoma on my back and it spread to the glands in my, under my arm and in my groin. And they had to remove those glands as well as the melanoma on my back. But, you know, as I found out what that melanoma was caused from was this spray, copper tone sports spray, that's what I believe. You know, according to the research of Dr. Joseph Mercola and Dr. Leonard Caldwell, they're saying that when the, the some of these sprays that have this nasty stuff in it called retinal palmitate, it's a synthetic vitamin A, when that interacts with the water, it causes cancer. So be careful, you know, for everybody here in the States. I know that, you know, the other side of the world, it's winter, but keep this in mind too. If you're if you're out in the sun make sure that your sunblock does not have retinal palmitate. So you want it, you really want it paraben free. Uh, you don't know none of the crap that's in it. Try to go organic. And since then, what I've been doing is I've been putting on only, I have, I use uh, this stuff called ocean potion and it smells like an orange uh, creamsicle, but I just put it on my face and that's it. And I've been cancer free for last 11 years. So, but once again, keep your body alkaline. You don't have to worry about it. Well, you can find it online too. So maybe um, you can have it sent to you or shipped it to you. So what does the beach look like today? Um, there, all those dead fish that I filmed yesterday came in. I haven't been there this evening. Hopefully the city came by today and picked it up, all, up all those dead fish, but there's probably another, I'm gonna say at least 20 tons of dead fish that are out there. So, and Tammy's saying that there's a Publix here in Georgia. Yeah, so check it out. Um, Publix is the name. What's your take on crystals, Greg? I love crystals. Absolutely, um, got all sorts of crystals. I have this one huge. It's a it's, it's a crystal slab. It's about that big, and there's just hundreds of double terminated crystals laying on top of each other. There, um, 
I have crystals all over the house um, and in every corner of the house, as well as um, shungite too. In every room of my house, I have little shungite pyramids uh, to keep me safe and protected. Um, there's certain crystals, and you know, sometimes I don't even know the name of some of these crystals, but um, they're just very special. Let me grab one. So this one's, you know, obviously it's a double uh, terminated quartz crystal. You can, you can use it for healing on either end, which is pretty cool. Though I, I got to admit, though, I do like the ones that have, um, that aren't clear, that have the the, the striations in them and stuff, because they have they have a lot more character to them. You know, something like like that. See, that's got a lot of character to it, and. This is called a spirit quartz, and it just because it's it's so sparkly and shiny. Anyone that knows me knows I love sparkly, shiny things, and I had I had to get it. So, just look at that. Isn't that cool? And this one I forgot the name of it, but this was given to me as a gift um, by these angels that came to my conference in Los Angeles in 2015 or was it 2014 maybe um, had this group of ladies 12 ladies that toned there and before we had the conference and it their voices were so beautiful that it brought tears to my eyes you know here I am you know wiping the tears out. I gotta go speak in a few minutes I tears I have tears in my eyes it was just so powerful but they gave me this stone and there's a little like ruby or garnet in it somewhere. But it's in, it is in the shape of a cross. Oh, there's that little, yeah. But it's very powerful. I also have a crystal ball that I keep by my bed. It's about that big. And sometimes I'll fall asleep with that in my hand. A lot of people, and I've done this too, is you just take some amethyst and put it underneath your mattress. And that's supposed to help with your, uh, not just only for protection, but to help with your dreams as well. Um, Linda's asking, what happened when you checked out Shungite? Yeah, um, nothing. Honestly, nothing happened. There was no dif difference. I didn't see any difference, but I do like the metaphysical powers of Shungite, so that's why I do have. Um, the pyramids, little Shungite pyramids in each room of my house. Okay. Um, Sherry's saying that she uses coconut oil, SPF 5. Yeah, coconut oil is wonderful. I've used that as well. It, has, it does have a natural SPF in it. So if you're going to use anything on your skin, you may as well use that. I know my daughter's even talked about what you know when she gets done showering, she'll put coconut oil in her hair, and she's got the you know the the, the curly things that I have going on when she's when she doesn't straighten her hair. But um, yeah, she does that as well. Puts that in her hair. You know, a lot of us use it in cooking. You use it. There's so many amazing things that you can do with coconut oil, but definitely um, putting it on your skin as a sunblock is a great idea. Jody Lay Wittis makes her own. Many essential oils are natural sunblockers. I totally agree. Kathy's saying, I believed you dreamed that you were John Lennon because you are both peacekeepers of the people of the planet. Ah, thank you. It's weird. I've been on this huge Beatles kick for maybe the last couple months. Don't know why. Um, you know, most people that know me know I like you know basically the music from the '80s, the you know the harder rock from the '80s. But I've been on this huge Beatles kick, um, and just been I don't know watching and absorbing everything I can about the Beatles, and I, I just don't. I'm not. I don't know why. 
<laughs> so what's going on in the waters yeah same thing um hopefully it does get better with thoughts and intentions i appreciate everyone putting putting positive thoughts and intentions into our water here on the gulf coast and everywhere not just here on the United States and the Gulf of Mexico, all water everywhere. You know, we are made of water. So if you put that loving intention out there, maybe all water can be healed. Joanna Kathleen says, you might want to use the crystals in a giveaway. I actually do kind of do that on Patreon. I have um, for certain people of that, that sign up, I actually give away some of the crystals that I have uh, that are personal to me. I had these three pyramids, uh, quartz crystal pyramids, that were my little Orion's belt that I had up on my shelf there, and I gave all three of them away. And uh, as a matter of fact, one of the people that I gave them to, one of them to, said he got that and put the energy, he put it in his hand and felt the energy, and he ended up writing this killer article for me on N5D. He got this inspiration to write so it was pretty cool um and i got another report from another person that said this, something similar that all of a sudden you know her dreams became really vivid once she got that crystal from me so you know they, they all definitely have my my energy on them and uh i i give them with love so and i think the shungite was the last one i gave away to somebody on patreon that, that signed up on Patreon, so. Nicole says she has a huge spirit course. This one's not very big, but, you know, I, and that's one thing I wanted to talk about too. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, if you don't know the name of anything, of any, any of the stones, it doesn't matter. They're gonna call you one way or the other. Um, they'll speak to you you'll know which one, even if you don't know what kind it is, it's gonna say, I want you, take me home. <laughs> and that's what this one did. I just saw it, it was just glittering in the sun. Um, this, this one dude um, sets up a, a rock stand, a, a crystal stand um, on the way to Siesta Key. So if I'm going out to Publix and on my way back in onto the island, I'll see him on the side of the road and I'll stop and look at what he has. And this was one of the things that he had and I, just had to get it, so. And I actually got a second one of these too, from him too, there. Store light, yeah, store light. Offhand, I, I, I don't know um, a good book about crystals, Lisa, but there, there are so many out there. Um, there's, I guess, like uh, an encyclopedia uh, of all known crystals, something along that line. I, I, I don't remember the exact title, but yeah. Um, personally, I, I I just have what I have online on N5D. I have a bunch of um, articles on crystals and gemstones and that have embedded within them uh, books from scribed that have different um, rocks and what their metaphysical meanings are. So there's a place in the Nota Sassa in a flea market that sells huge crystals. Cool. Yay beetles, don't question why. See, this is how far behind I am. I'm pretty far behind. So Linda's saying beautiful things are happening with the dolphins, water, DNA, gene codes, et cetera, on the Pacific coast, Canada. Check out Unity Grace. It's so beautiful. Cool. And Annette is, Jenkins is asking, do you charge your water with shungite? I, well, not this water, but I actually buy this in gallons. And I have this pitcher, um, BPA free, uh, free pitcher that I put the shungite ends with the gallon water of this that I use. I also use um, a 9 pH water to make alkaline ozone 
ice. So I have an ice machine and I'll put the ozone into the alkaline water and then put the ozone alkaline water into the ice machine. So I have like the healthiest ice ever. <laughs> so it's, it's awesome. Well, gosh, this 45 minutes in, and I think I did like another 20. This is lo much longer than what I usually stay on. You know me, I'm pretty much short and sweet and try to get my point out and <laughs> leave it at that. So I want to thank you all for joining me um, on another Facebook Live. Um, I'm sending you all infinite love and light, and we'll see you the next time. All right. Namaste, everyone. <laughs>